We are Freedom of Choice Ohio. We are here to educate our legislators about the need for prevention legislation. As you know, over the last several weeks and months, a, a, an avalanche of anti-choice legislation has been introduced in the Ohio House of Representatives and the Ohio Senate. We can't stand for that type of behavior out of our elected representatives. We need, we need to educate them on the value of prevention, preventing unintended pregnancies, preventing the spread of sexually transmitted infections. I want to thank all of the people surrounding us here on the steps for taking valuable time out of their day to share some time with us, to talk to their legislators, and I want to introduce some legislators who are here with us right now. First, State Representative Nikki Antonio. <laughs> Representative Antonio has been with us for five months. But uh, I am here to tell you that she has already made an imprint that will last through several General Assemblies. <laughs> Representative Antonio has agreed to sponsor the Ohio Prevention First in the Ohio House of Representatives. And I know you want to hear from her, so I will defer to her at this moment. I want to start by saying, yes, this is what democracy looks like. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> democracy looks like students who stand up for choice. Democracy. Yay! <laughs> and grandma. <laughs> and everybody in between. I want to tell you, uh, before I start talking a little bit about, about what we've been up to at the State House, which you all know, I want to tell you today, I am a proud mom. I am a proud mom by choice. And it's really important that we remember all of the women who can't be with us today and that when you stand here on the steps of the state house by the way the people's house and the people last time i checked means the men and women of the state of ohio And so when you stand on the steps of the State House, you are standing here for all of those women that cannot be here today, whose voice we need to bring into every single conversation, whether they've had a traumatic pregnancy, whether they have a child that has fetal abnormalities and because of it, there's a trauma with their pregnancy, whether they have an unwanted pregnancy, we stand here in support of their choice to make their decisions, their reproductive decisions. We stand with them today. And I thank you for being here because it's very important. It's important because there's an aggressive assault on women's reproductive health care rights. For a woman's right to say, I will sit in the examining room with my physician. If I so choose, I will invite my family in. But there is no room in that examination room for the state legislature in this state.
Now, <laughs> as Gary Daughtery said, I came here five months ago. In the time that I have been here, in the health committee that I serve on by choice, I asked to be on the health committee. <laughs> there have been seven, seven anti-choice bills. And most of you know the depth and breadth of, of what those bills um, would take away from women. And sadly, in some cases, young girls because there's also a bill that would take away the ability of young girls who may have been abused, who may have been raped, um, who may have been sexually assaulted by a family member, they've taken away, made it more difficult, they haven't completely taken away, I correct myself, but have made it more difficult for them to bypass, uh, in some cases, the very people that they cannot trust anymore. Um, but they're making it more difficult for them to be able to deal with that uh, sensitive, horrific issue. There are other bills, other bills that would take away a woman's access to reproductive health care, that would take away her right with her own personal money to purchase health care, a health care plan that includes and, and I, want, I want us to all get this right. You know there's this biology that we have, a physiology about us. Women have uteruses. As a result, we have other reproductive organs, and so therefore we can conceive and have children. You know, they call it practicing medicine because things, unpredictable things happen. And our physicians, the best of the best, are still practicing, still trying to figure things out. Sometimes things go wrong. A wanted pregnancy can have unexpected complications. We need to be able to access health care to deal with unexpected complications, to save our lives, to save our children's lives, and to save the lives of our grandchildren and those that go beyond. I am a proud uh, sponsor of a prevention first legislation that we will be introducing in the next few weeks. us want to make sure that not only do women have access to contraception, we also need to make sure that our young people have access to the best information possible to understand how to prevent pregnancies, sexually transmitted infections, and to be able to make decisions starting with abstinence. You know, starting with the most preventable of all of the, of the processes that we know, but we need to educate our children in a comprehensive way so they know and understand how their bodies work to make their decisions and to be able to prevent unwanted pregnancies. working on some other legislation down the road. Um, we've, been, we've been working behind the scenes to be able to also um, assist those have, who are the victims of rape and to be able to make sure that people are trained and that, the, that, the, um, that everything that is possible is being done for them, is available to them at a time that is the most traumatic for them. And so we'll be coming out with the new CARE Act in the next few weeks as well. You know, I'm going to close by, uh, with the words of a song that we used to teach, we taught our children, that we used to sing. It's a song by Sweet Honey in the Rock. We who believe in freedom will not rest. And I want to tell you, we who believe in a woman's right to choose 
and her freedom to, to choose will not rest. Will not rest until 52% of the population continues to have a say about her reproductive health care. Thank you.